Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at SPY and QQQ as for the broader market and then let's take a look at tech stocks, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, Meta and Netflix. So let's do the price action analysis on these things. I have done some other videos over this weekend as well if you are interested to check them out. Tesla, AMD, ARM, Broadcom, SMCI, NVIDIA, also cryptos and other stocks like Palantir and everything. Check those videos out if you are interested. Links to, well, here's the channel. You are on the channel. So, yeah, you can just check them out here. All right. So, let's talk about, well, that none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. Please do your own thing. Okay. So, let's start off with SPY. So, what is the, first of all, overall structure telling me that? St structure on SPY is telling me that, hey, junior trader, we are still bullish. We still have higher highs, higher lows, right? and yeah we are full-on bullish guys still now this pullback is coming as for near-term pullback look here's the thing even if we cool off down to 20 days moving average or even to these levels like 539 or so that has to be constituted just as a pullback right now all right you are still better off trading into the pullbacks let these pullbacks happen and then long it all right now as for the intraday on spy to talk about that what may happen right so let's go to the hourly interval and what are the possible intraday plays so there could be an upside that may come if we break out and above of 545 from where we are okay and so that's the upside play very simple you can then trade it to the range of 546 dollars at least as the first area and then you have to see if the price reaction happens here like rejection or whatnot as for the downside if we lose the level of 544 Intraday cool off may continue down to these next levels like 542 and 92 cents, 541 and 87 cents, and so forth. We do have then possibility of eventually coming down to 200 hours moving average as well, but these are only intraday plays on the overall structure, guys. We are still technically bullish as long as we are even above, as I said, $539. So for at that level, if we come down there, this thing may then continue still higher up in completing the pullback unless and until it's not breaking and not just that you the spy I i'm still saying for a couple of days or weeks even let's say engine has to reverse from here on spy for it's going to go through the first the distribution phase and since we are in the uptrend you are better off trading uh upside in the distribution phase into this pullbacks because you are playing with the trend then because there is no guarantee that distribution phase will turn into the short distribution phase may then continues to result in the upside so you're still better off trading uh to the upside and yeah that would be it well that's spy guys all right qqq let's talk about that very similar to the trading uh you know possibilities like spy qqq may continue to cool off we'll talk about that in just a second on hourly interval but until this level of uh, 465 and 68 cents that will overall structure will still remain bullish on qqq but can this deeper pullback come on it? So let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk about that. So let's talk about the upside from here. Well, if we continue to stay above 480, we may just intraday continue higher. However, if we lose 480, you can we will continue to the levels then down there, level by level, all right? And then eventually make our way to 200 hours moving average. QQQ is not difficult to trade. You have the levels here on my chart to, to trade that. Um, just keep an eye on this 484 uh, if we reject this intraday on Monday we might not go lower than 480 but it's, it's very important to keep an eye on this 484 if it acts as a rejection and uh, but yeah then that will start to make it a lower high as well and then for days after that which I'll still talk about like day to day and then we'll talk about what the price action has done but that may then eventually result some more cool offs only cool offs intradays all right structure overall can still stay bullish on QQ for a couple of more days and yeah it can continue to stay bullish because right now structure is not even developing anything on the overall bearishness on the overall structure i mean right so that's your QQQ. let's take a look at microsoft so microsoft is full has been full on bullish i have been saying into these red candles as well these are just the pullbacks you are still better to trade off into the pullbacks the long at these levels when you see that the lower time frame price action holding support we are still seeing this continuation there is not even a cool off right now i'm seeing only 
from here if we have to see a deeper cool off down to 20 days moving average we have to first start losing this level like 443 and 441 microsoft is showing right now all signs of bullishness we have to though like if any structure breaks things may result in more cool off but what microsoft has to do for that if microsoft 440 and 71 cents if it loses that with 20 and 50 hours moving average intraday cool off may continue back again down to 443 and that may bring some more cool off until 200 hours moving average intradays but uh, other but the structure will still remain bullish however if it continue to hold above 448 and 71 cents this will break out to all time new all time highs all right apple uh, so apple is going through some deeper cool off but as i said it's just a cool off guys in the structure it, it if it continues down to 20 days moving average here that's fine it's just a cool off structure is still overall bullish on apple it's not in the downtrend 20 days moving average is still a support on this but this is the area i talked about if we lose 211 in my previous videos some cool off may continue down to 20 days moving average and we are getting that all right that's your apple google google is denying to go lower and the previous support it found is just right at that level of 174 and 65 cents structure on this would have looked weaker if we would have lost 174 and 12 cents down to 50 days moving average we would have come at there but yeah it didn't do that so staying above 20 days moving average holding above 174 and 65 cents is just was it's still a bullish move on this is still bullish right now and it can stay bullish for a couple of more days pullbacks on this is just a buy as long as we keep holding above at least for now for for where the price is right now above 20 days moving average pullbacks on this for a couple of days is still a buy in my opinion uh, but just don't buy up if a candle is falling just don't buy blindly you have to see at lower time frames if the structure is holding like double bottoms um and things like that like consolidations double bottoms and those significant levels marked by my indicators if they, they are they are holding all right amazon so amazon is guys just staying bullish uh what i was in my previous videos i said that this is the area right don't tr uh, try to try avoiding trading in the range of 180 to 185 almost above 185 is a continuation to the upside and we are getting that that was the play the downside play would only have come if we broke below 180 that never happened it broke out to the upside play so that was your play and it's yeah it's still bullish and it can continue to stay bullish right now i'm not seeing any directional change any pullbacks until 185 are just a buy if we break 185 then we i would say we have to lose 20 and 50 days as well to see much more downside on this amazon oh sorry guys meta so meta okay here's the thing first first thing structure is overall bullish as long as on meta especially on intraday as long as we have a 490 and 45 cents this is just a pullback if we lose that meta still has a, another good support sitting at 482 now if you're a really good scalp short trader you can use this range but otherwise just use the pullbacks and with the stop loss on this other side when you see on lower time frames these areas holding like the two areas first of all 482 and 41 cents and uh 490 dollars and 45 cents if these two areas holds into the pullbacks like as i said lower time frame you have to see if the support is holding there like double bottoms good buying volume coming in and all of that like consolidations and all of that this could still be played long uh, meta is still bullish you can also follow this pivot almost it's not penny to penny perfect but this sort of trend line just use 20 and 50 days moving average for reference though still bullish though all right um but i gave you the level if those levels you know break or hold uh, that range can be traded but overall structure on meta is still bullish so you are watching if these levels continue to hold in an uptrend um yeah so you'll have to see at the lower time frame for that netflix Netflix overall structure is still bullish when I say lower time frame you have to see sorry I'm recapping a little bit going back um, when the price action is running in the real time market you have to see that those levels that I provided what is the price action on lower time frame is doing is it showing you the structure of bullishness as I said inverted head and shoulder or double bottoms or higher pivots forming good buying volume coming into the liquidity grab and things like that netflix overall structure is still bullish guys and this overall structure will still remain bullish even if we come down to the level of 608 and 64 into the pullbacks 
the structure will still remain bullish on this thing even till the level of 655 structure on this will still remain bullish this is not bearish and but right now is it looking that it's going to continue lower well let's take a look at that what are the things to watch so netflix as intraday if it continues stays above 680 and 59 cents even into the pullback is just a buy if we lose 680 and 69 cents from where it is right now some pull off you can expect but yeah that will be only intraday pull off overall structure on this thing even we come down to the as a level of 664 or into the level of even six i would say 664 until then this will just overall structural pull back only all right but yeah you have the areas to watch intraday you can trade however you like at these levels that i just provided technically this will be the area 680 and 69 cents as a pivotal area all right so well guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos take care bye